Playing asbestos campaigner Bernie Banton. Just because a person is sick uh, doesn't mean that he is necessarily pure of heart in all things. And insulting to a rival. He ascended to the Liberal leadership two years later when he toppled Malcolm Turnbull in a party room revolt over emissions trading. And the final ballot was won by Tony Abbott, 42 votes to 41. Obviously, uh, uh, it's been uh, a big day for me. Uh, it's been a tough day uh, for some of my colleagues. A rugged individualist promised a new, more inclusive style. Political parties don't work. Uh, when people just announce what they're doing and expect everyone else to follow. I will not be that kind of a leader. 2010 brought Tony Abbott within a whisker of victory. What is clear from tonight is that the Labor Party has definitely lost its majority. But negotiating a government with the independents proved beyond him. He actually begged for the job. Begged for the job. You've never... You've never denied it, Tony. Focus turned relentlessly and effectively on Julia Gillard. Did anyone think for a second that the Prime Minister would be in the lodge if six days before the election she had said, yes, there will be a carbon tax? But his assertive, some said aggressive style, <laughs> exposed a problem with female voters. I will not be lectured about sexism and misogyny by this man. I will not. He countered with his signature policy, paid parental leave, an expensive business taxing proposition he stood by for almost five years against the wishes of many in his party. <laughs> Tony Abbott's always been a conviction politician, a fighter who could disarm and surprise. Not to put too fine a point on it, shit happens, Tony. Regret swearing on my own <laughs> Shit happens. The Prime Ministership magnified his traits, his style and his judgement. And in February, backbench discontent with Tony Abbott's performance came to a head in the form of a leadership spill motion. The result is very clear. Uh, Nose, 61. Uh, yes, 39. Tony Abbott survived his near-death experience. I've listened, I've learned, uh, and I've changed, and the government will change with me. The public response to the second budget was more encouraging, but tension within Cabinet derailed the agenda. Along the way, Tony Abbott lost a captain's pick. The Speaker's expensive travel claims ultimately forced her resignation. I can say again this morning, uh, that I am so apologetic to the Australian people. But the resignation didn't satisfy critics who argued Tony Abbott was too slow to act. The problem is not any particular individual. The problem is the entitlement system more generally. A marathon party room debate on gay marriage followed and the cabinet leaks kept coming. The Prime Minister read his colleagues the riot act <laughs> But there was another embarrassing disclosure. What I'm not going to do is accept lectures on cabinet solidarity from a leader of the opposition who backstabbed two prime ministers. But keeping his cabinet on side proved to be the prime minister's biggest challenge. Julie Doyle, ABC News, Canberra. So that is five minutes of a political career. It's all crunched down, but it is a remarkable time in public life for Tony Abbott, the Rhodes Scholar, the one-time journalist, the political advisor, and then the MP who rose to become the 28th Prime Minister. Who knows? He may continue longer in that role. That's what we're all sitting around trying to to work out at the moment. And Chris, having uh, looked through that and be reminded of some moments in his life, is a, a monarchist still to this day.